All right, this is uh, part two in the series entitled Velocity versus Time Graph. And I'm gonna go over, try and go over three things uh, on this graph, on, the, on this video. I wanna just look at this, this line and see if we can figure out what's going on as far as the velocity and time. And then I wanna fill in this table and see if we can figure out what's going on uh, as far as speeding up and slowing down of velocity versus time. And then if I can, and then we'll try and do one quick calculation at the end and see if we can uh, ca actually calculate the slope and see if we get the same answer. All right, so let's just look at this line really quick here and see if we can figure out, figure out what's, what's going on. Um, we have uh, velocity and time, and we're still talking about motion in one dimension. So we're just talking about going back and forth on, on, on a line and um, no turning or anything like that. And it's velocity and time, and this is different than the position versus time because, of course, in the position versus time graph, you remember that the slope of that line was... Uh, the velocity, but the slope of this line, of this orange line on here, the slope of the velocity versus time graph equals the acceleration. So we can tell um, kind of something about speeding up or slowing down, because that's what we're talking about with acceleration. We just look at the slope of the line, okay? And we'll look at that as we, when we fill out the table down here. But I just want to point out that you need to be very careful when you, re when you look at these graphs. If it says position and time, then you have to think about the slope being the velocity, but in this case, the velocity and time the slope is the acceleration. All right, so let's just read the graph and see if we can figure out what's going on just by looking at the graph. You'll notice that this is our x-axis and we have time, and this is our velocity, y-axis, we have velocity on here. And you should notice that this is positive four meters per second, and this is minus four meters per second, and this obviously right here is zero meters per second, and all of this is velocity. Now, let's just look at each section, A, B, C, D, E, individually. And what I recommend you do is just look at the endpoints of the section. So think of each one as a separate question, basically, that we just strung them together. Over A, we have four meters per second here is our speed in the positive direction. And then we have two meters per second right here, still in the positive direction. So we're going from four to two meters per second with our speed, and that means that we're slowing down. Now this section B, you'll notice that we started over here at two meters per second, and then we end right here at two meters per second. So we're not speeding up or slowing down, and we, we call that constant velocity. Now across C, we start at two meters per second, and we end at four meters per second. That means we're speeding up. Now a lot of people have a little bit of problem with this because this is sloping down, which we call negative slope. This is sloping up, which we call positive slope. And they think that must mean they're going in the opposite direction. Well, the direction is determined by the sign of the velocity. And you can see everything up here is positive velocity. The top half of that graph is positive velocity. That means they're all going in the positive direction. So positive direction, constant velocity, and then positive direction speeding up. Slow down, constant velocity, speed up, but all in the positive direction. And then once again, across D, you can see we go from positive four meters per second to zero meters per second. That means that once again, we're slowing down, but this time we're actually coming to zero, and we're coming to a stop. Now, when we cross the zero velocity line, now we're all in negative velocity, right? Over here, we have negative four meters per second, and all of these velocities are negative. So what does that mean? Well, the direction is determined by the sign of the velocity, we are speeding up zero to four meters per second, but which direction are we going? The direction is negative now. So this part people have a hard time with because you can see we started four, we slow down, but now we're negative. And what we're actually doing, we're cro when we cross the zero line, we're actually changing the direction. Even though this is all a straight line, we start at plus four meters per second, we go to zero, and then we go to negative four meters per second, in the, and that's the opposite direction. Positive is one direction, negative is the opposite direction, okay? So that's what we get just by looking at the graph, the orange line. Now, we should be able to come up with the same answers, especially for the slowing down and the speeding up, just by looking at the signs of the acceleration and the velocity, all right? So let's look, this is slope, this is acceleration, and across A, is it positive or negative? Well, that is a negative slope. Now, we do have some slopes. So that means, yes, we are accelerating. And in this case, our velocities are positive, right? All the top half of this graph is positive. So we can just look here, and we can see negative acceleration, but we're going in the positive direction, but we're being accelerated in the opposite direction. That means we're slowing down. 
Okay, if the velocity and the acceleration are opposite, slowing down. Okay, now B, right here, what's the slope of this line? Well, this slope is zero. That means we have no acceleration because the slope is the acceleration. But we still have a direction because this velocity is plus two meters per second and plus two meters per second. We call that constant. All right, now let's look at C. C is positive slope, positive acceleration, so we are accelerating, but our direction is positive, so it's a little different. Now we have the same signs for our acceleration, our velocity, and the way I think about it is we're going in the positive direction, we're being accelerated in the positive direction, so you can think about it as you're going in one direction and somebody's pushing you in that same direction, well then you should be speeding up. All right, now D, negative, yes, positive, slow down. All right, E, now we have negative slope still. Yes, we must be accelerating, but now we have a negative velocity. And the, once again, these two signs are the same. We're going in the negative direction, we're being accelerated in that same direction, and we're speeding up, okay? So you can see that these answers across the bottom here are the same ones we got by just looking at the graph, and they should match, of course. Now, let's look at a quick uh, calculation, and we're gonna calculate the, actually calculate the acceleration from the beginning of D all the way across to the end of E. Now, we should ask ourselves, what should the sign of the answer be? Well, the slope is the acceleration. A negative slope across that whole line means that the acceleration should turn out to be negative. All right, now you can see we're here at plus four is our, let's look at the end here. Here's our final velocity is minus four. Our initial velocity is plus four and we're going across four seconds. All right, now I did the calculation right down here really quick. Acceleration is velocity final minus velocity initial over the change in time. And we have negative four meters per second minus plus four meters per second gives us eight a minus eight meters per second divided by the time which is four seconds and you can see our answer turns out to be minus two meters per second squared and we do have our negative sign which we got from our from our calculations and you can see that up here the slope is negative and the slope is the acceleration so if our slope is negative and our, then our acceleration better turn out to be negative and it does all right so you can see that by looking at the graph looking at the signs of the acceleration and the velocity, or doing the calculations uh, using the simple equation for acceleration, we get the same answer, all three cases, and of course it should all work out very nicely just like that. Okay, so thank you, that's velocity and time, and uh, hopefully that's helpful. Thank you.